Hi! Okay, so let's continue uh, with our lesson. So this is on lesson 3, a continuation of the topic that we have discussed earlier on the run on sentences. So this one is lesson 3, comma splice. So it is somewhat uh, correlated with the run on since uh, similar lang sila. The only difference with the comma splice is um, it is intertwined or it is connected, it is joined together with the use of the comma. Okay, so let's start with the comma splice. So, comma, uh, i-break down muna natin tong dalawang word na to. Comma is, alam, na na, alam naman na natin yan, a punctuation mark that indicates a pause. And then, splice, ang meaning ng splice is to intertwine. Ginagamit ang splice sa uh, um, paggawa ng mga tali, uh, ropes. So, parang binibraid mo yung, binibraid mo yung certain ends, ini-intertwine mo, ini-interweave mo yung isa't isa. So, you somehow connect it. So, ang big sabihin nun, kung i-join na natin to, connect natin sa grammar, comma splice is, splice meaning connect, di ba? So, two independent clause, clauses that are connected with the use of the comma. So, the only difference is the comma. So, same lang din sa run-on. Yung run-on kanina, too much information, two independent clause, clauses without punctuation marks. Well, dito sa comma splice, may punctuation mark, pero with the wrong use of the comma. Okay? So, kaya siya tinawag na comma splice. So, at the end of this lesson, you will be able to differentiate comma splice from a run-on sentence, determine ways to edit comma splice, and fix comma splices. So, writing is a language in and of itself. So, which means in order for it to be effective, it must follow certain rules. So, lahat naman natin ng bagay na ginagawa natin sa ating everyday life, it requires us a certain rules and pattern to follow. So, these rules ensure that the reader can interpret the message. So, sa lahat ng ginagawa natin, to be able to... Uh, to share the message correctly or to share the message as much as you wanted it to be, you need to have dapat nanggagaling talaga sa'yo yung um, proper construction and yung proper na pag-release mo ng thoughts mo in order for you to be uh, in order for you to have a coherent and purposeful conversation with each other. So, yun nga, writing is a mode of communication and it is really important to um, to be uh, dun, to be specific on the certain rules, especially on the grammar. So, this is why we have punctuation. So, one important punctuation mark is the comma, which indicates pauses between parts of a sentence. So unfortunately, since commas are commonplace, they are also used incorrectly quite often. So one such error is called a comma splice. So, ayun nga, ginagamit natin ang, ang comma halos sa lahat ng bagay. But uh, sometimes we tend to overlook and overuse it. Kaya nagkakaroon ng error and this is the comma splice. So yun yung sabi ko kanina na two independent clauses that are incorrectly joined by a comma. So let's look on these examples. So tinan natin. Uh, my sister celebrated her birthday last Friday, comma. It was a lot of fun. Netflix is in thing now. Everyone has subscription to it, I guess. So kung napapansin nyo, may breakdown ng sentence but uh, with the use of the comma, you have that certain boss, but you still have this um, feeling that something is missing. Okay, so let's move on now on the ways of correcting a comma splice. So the first one is to add a conjunction. So napapapiwan na natin yung kanina sa run on sentences. So uh, napapapiwan na natin yung coordinating and ating subordinating. Coordinating is the fun boys while subordinating yung because, um, uh, when, if, since, although, though, and mga yan. So, the first one is 
Ayan, tina natin yung example. Jamie took the IELTS exam. Kama, she was planning to move to Canada next year. So, ang ginamit niya to break down is the comma. So, napansin natin na it needs a certain uh, word to connect the she was planning to move to Canada to Jamie. So, parang may kulang. So, ang kailangan, ang pwede natin ilagay dito is a conjunction. So, pwede natin sabihin na uh, pwede natin gamitin yung for. So, pwede natin gamitin yung comma for. Kasi ang meaning ng for is because. Okay? So, pwede rin natin gamitin itong sinabi dito sa pangalawa na because. So, yan yung subordinating. Hindi na niya kailangan ng comma, di ba? So, kung ayaw mo nang gamitin yung comma, use the because. Pero if you want to use the comma, to retain the comma, use the fanboy, which is the for. It has the same meaning. Okay. Next. My sister celebrated her birthday last Friday. Kama, it was a lot of fun. So, ang ginawa dito, uh, connected si it was a lot of fun to the birthday, to the event. Okay, so, you need that certain coordinating conjunctions. You need to coordinate this sentence to the first sentence. So, gagamitin natin sa fanboys is the end. So, my sister celebrated her birthday last Friday. Kama, and... It was a lot of fun. Okay, so very easy na lang siya pag na, na master niyo na yung coordinating and subordinating conjunction. Again, coordinating, you need the comma. Yung sa fanboys natin, comma first before the fanboys. But when you are using the subordinate subordinate conjunctions, no need um, for the use of the comma. Okay, so let's move on to the second one. Change the comma to a semicolon. So, napapiyawa na rin natin yan kanina. Uh, sabi doon, sa, sa run-on, semicolon, uh, hindi natin ginagamit ang semicolon to indicate a period. Okay? So, dapat correlated with each other pa rin yung sentence for you to use the semicolon. So, na, na, naituro ko na rin kanina sa inyo, di ba, yung the use of the transitional words. Yung however, moreover, even though, yung mga yan. So, in this example, it has the however na. Okay? So, Kendra offers various products online. Kama, her mother, however, doesn't support her business. Kuso kung titignan natin, parang wala nang mali. Parang, kung ikaw yung normal na writer, kung ako din yan, I would construct my sentence that way. But, for it to be grammatically acceptable and grammatically correct, you need to have a uh, parang certain break, breakdown of it so para makapause and mas clearer yung sentence mo if you can see the semicolon and the, the pause. So alam mo na this is the, the first part of the sentence and this is the second part. So yun yung use ng mga punctuation words and that is very important. So in this case, Ginamitan niya na yung tinuro ko kanina sa run-on na semicolon and then the transition, the transition word, which is the however and then the comma. So do not forget, if you will use the transition word, semicolon first and then transition word and the comma. Okay? So, uh, the corrected sentence is, uh, Kendra offers various products online, semicolon, however... Kama, her mother doesn't support her business. So, kung babasahin ko in a normal way, Kendra offers various products online. However, her mother does not, doesn't support her business. So, kung ako yung nagba, parang pag binabasa mo na siya, mas naiintindihan mo, kasi you have this, um, parang kung sa kanta pa, nasa tiempo na. So, parang, Na, nakukuha mo na yung 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 proper tuning and proper proper rhythm ng sentence mo kaya mas na nagagrasp mo na yung meaning, intended meaning of the sentence so yun yung ibig sabihin noon that is why very important na malaman natin itong mga errors na to and then the last one is the i think the most easiest uh, way na para i-correct ang comma splice. And that is to make separate sentences. To make se separate sentences, parang tulad lang din dun sa run-on na you need an end punctuation. 
So, and punctuation, we have period, uh, question mark, and the exclamation point. For in this case, nabasayin natin yung, yung example, computers nowadays become a necessity. Kama, the pandemic really caused so much change. So, to make, to make a separate sentence, you need a period to end the sentence. Okay? So, in this case, it has two independent clauses. So, computers nowadays become a necessity. Period. The pandemic really caused so much change. So, kung babasahin ko siya in a normal way, computers nowadays become a necessity. The pandemic really caused so much change. So, yun, medyo nakakahinga na yung mga sentences mo and it is clearer for the audience to really, uh, really comprehend it in the way that you like. Then, the last, last example is, Netflix is the the in thing now, comma. Everyone has subscription to it, I guess. So, yun. Ang ginawa niya is, nilagyan niya ng period yung, kasi kung titignan natin, parang tatlong sentences siya. But the I guess is parang a, a continuation of the everyone has subscription to it, I guess. So, ang ginawa is, the parang the, the best, um, way to correct this one is to put a period and yun yung ginawa. Netflix is the in thing now. Everyone has subscription to it, I guess. Ayun. So, that's the end of our lesson. Napakabilis lang since napahapiwan na natin yung run on sentence. Again, uh, these two are somewhat similar to each other um, and I really hope na you have learned something, and I really hope na uh, you could mm, practice more, uh, uh, research more on the sample sentences, and in that way, you will be able to practice and uh, keep an eye on these little errors na hindi natin na mamalaya. Okay, so I'll see you sa ating next topic. So I hope na... Ayun, uh, this is somehow useful to you and yeah, um, I'll see you have a great, uh, have a great day ahead and I'll see you sa ating next bit. Bye, God bless you.